All right, so if you want more serve consistency, let me show you how we do this. Now you notice we're standing in the alley. And the reason for that is if you can hit a target in the alley with higher percentages of success, then our ability to hit anywhere in the court is going to improve. The first thing we want to do is actually start throwing the ball. And the reason we're going to throw the ball, obviously, is because the service motion is really just a throw. Now, the way you want to do this is you want to line up your feet so that your toes are pointed towards your target. Okay, and this is going to, again, allow us to hit any target anywhere on the court as we master this. Okay, the next thing we do is visualize in a box above the net, let's say about 12 feet in the air, that the ball is going to pass through on the way to the ultimate target. Okay, so there we go, and we'll just start dropping them in the bucket. Okay, piece of cake. You want to do that, you know, 10 times or so until you're around 70% arms nice and loose, and once we've done that, we're going to go to probably the hardest part of the serve, which is the toss. And the easiest way to think about the toss is to first of all know exactly where you're trying to toss the ball. Okay, so and the way to figure that out is if you just do a couple of shadow swings like you're seeing here, um, just notice where the blur of the racket is because that's where the racket's going to be traveling the fastest, and that's a really good place to aim uh, your toss. Okay, so now what we do is we visualize that toss, and now we'll just practice it a few times. Again, you want to get that dialed in till about 70, 80%. And if you need more help on the toss, I've got a video that goes into a lot more depth that I'll link to down in the description. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and start hitting the ball. And what you're going to notice is that we've got our hand choked up the handle of the racket. And the reason we do that is by starting uh, with our hand choked up the handle, that's going to allow us to really calibrate uh, each shot that we hit. Okay, so we've got our window above the net. I'm thinking about four to five feet over the net. We know exactly where we're trying to toss the ball based on the old whoosh technique. And here we go. And as you can see, we're pretty much dialed in from the get-go. Once you've done that a few times, um, you know, if you're just starting this for the first time, you might want to do that 10, 20 times until you're hitting it about 70%. And if you're way off, if you've only made like three out of 10, you can always make that target a little bit bigger. Because one of the secrets of developing consistency is just instilling the belief that you are consistent. By the way, a client came to me and was having a bunch of problems with his serve. He was just spraying it everywhere. And we did this progression for about five minutes, and he was locked in. So it really, really works. Just go ahead and put it to use for you. Next thing we'll do is take a couple of steps back. So we're about, I'd say, halfway between the service line uh, and the baseline. And we're only hitting these about 40% of our max power. You can even use a little bit of an abbreviated swing if you'd like. And just plop a few right into that target and what you're going to notice if you did step one is this is not that big of a deal you'll be able to hit that target right down main street pretty regularly and if you're a competitor uh, then you might want to take a few from each side because you're going to play deuce and add which is really important okay once we've done that we can go ahead and come all the way back to the baseline and again we're still hand choked up the handle of the racket still nice and easy, nice and loose. And this is a really good time to start talking about pressure. Okay, so if you compete, obviously pressure is a really big part of the equation. We call it the elephant in the room. And so we have nine layers of pressure that we train under, but let's just talk about the first two. The first one is actually having a target because the target's binary. You're either hitting it or you're not. The second part is calling out, I'm going to hit the ball into that target. Now, the reason that's important is because most players will say, well, I'm going to try to hit it to, you know, so-and-so's backhand, or I'm going to aim to hit it out wide. And when you inevitably miss when that happens, your brain actually says to you, well, I wouldn't say I was going to do it. I just said I was going to try. So it's a small thing in the language, but what you say to yourself is really, really important from a neuroscience standpoint. So I'm going to hit the ball into the alley, right into that hoop. And as you can see, you're pretty much locked in. 
All right, so now let's switch sides of the alley just to give us that sort of deuce side perspective. We're gonna go halfway down the handle now and we might use more of a full service motion. And same thing, so I got my toes lined up to the target. I've got my window above the net that I'm visualizing the arc of the ball going through to get to our ultimate target. And then the last step is to uh, visualize the toss. Here we go. And now we're right down Main Street again. So it's really important each time you go to serve that you've got that mental process. So make sure your toes are lined up to your target. There's a lot of ways that you can stand. This is one way to make it really simple and to make it so that you can hit any target on the court because we're gonna bring the alley with us that we'll talk about in just a sec. So we've got our feet lined up. We've got our window above the net to go to our ultimate target. And then we've got our toss. The last step before you serve, and this is the most crucial, is to go blank. So this is the most crucial part that a lot of people have trouble with. They'll kind of get everything squared away in their head and then the last thought that they think before they serve is something like, now don't screw up, <laughs> or it's 30-40, or whatever it is. Okay, so here we go. Let's put our hand all the way down the handle. I'm gonna line up our toes so it's going right to that target. Visualize that window above the net, remember that? and we're gonna visualize where our toss is gonna go. And then the last and most important step is to just go blank and execute. Okay, right down Main Street. Okay, so now what we've done is we've really dialed in your service motion from the alley, and now we can bring the alley with us. Okay, this is a really cool concept. So let's say that I'm serving uh, in the ad court down the tee here. We got that uh, nice pink hula hoop. So now all I'm gonna do is line up my feet so that my toes are going towards that hoop. And now essentially we've just brought the alley with us. So you see, by training in the alley, now we can hit anywhere. Let's say I'm on the deuce court and I wanna hit a really wide slice serve out wide. Well, I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm gonna line up my toes so it's going right to my target, right towards that target uh, in the alley. Okay, now you might say, well, Ramon, what if you know, my opponent knows where I'm serving. First of all, most opponents are not gonna be that perceptive. And second of all, if you execute and you hit your spot, it really doesn't matter that much. And the third thing to know, and, and this is maybe another video, is that the serve is really the first of a two-shot combination. So we always train in two-shot combinations to allow you to really be proactive and to dictate versus being reactive and spontaneous and getting pushed around by the opponent. So go ahead and give this a try. Now, if you're a competitive player, we got a free quiz down below that you can take that'll show you your score in the four most critical match winning skills. I'll leave the link to that down in the description. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.